All right, we're going to dive into Canvas here a little bit and convert um, a image on the canvas into a black and white image. Uh, now, the way we basically do this is we load an image into the canvas, okay, and then we grab all the pixel data, grab the sub pixel data, using a formula, convert those sub pixels to grayscale, and and then reset each of those subpixels to the grayscale via the formula and then put all that back in the canvas. Uh, so before we start I googled for convert RGB to grayscale and I found a link here, the first one, and there's this nifty link here that says you take the red pixel, the red subpixel, and you multiply it by 0.3, add that to the green pixel times 0.59 and add that to the blue pixel times 0.11. Don't get too worried about this stuff, I know it seems like a lot but it's just the formula and we're just going to use it verbatim. It's going to be pretty simple. Okay, um, So we're going to start off with this, which is just a straight image on the page. I have my file over here and my logo over here. And so we just have this. So let's actually get started uh, writing some code. So we're going to start off with a script tag. Okay, um, And then we're going to load everything when the page loads. So window.onload equals a function. Okay, So we're just going to kind of do that. So let's outline the steps that we're going to take. First, we're going to get our canvas element, okay? Get our canvas element. And then we're going to uh, get the context property, which is basically our manipulation element. And then we're going to get our image. Following that, we're going to actually draw the image to the canvas, okay? We're going to start with the image on the canvas, and then we can manipulate, manipulate it. So to start the manipulation, we're going to get the image data, okay? And then we actually have to get the pixel data itself, okay? And then once we have the pixel data, we're gonna um, we're gonna loop and manipulate the data. Actually, the pixels, not even that, the subpixels. Okay. So the first thing in the loop that we need to do is get the RGB, RGBA rather. There's a, there's actually an alpha channel as well. RGBA subpixel data. So we're gonna get the subpixel data. And then with the subpixel data, we're going to create the grayscale subpixel, and then we're going to store each subpixel as that grayscale pixel. Okay? So we're going to create the grayscale pixel and then store it into each R, G, B, and A. Well, not A, just the R, G, and B. Okay? And then once all that's done outside the loop, we're going to um, put the new manipulated data manipulated image data back into the canvas. Okay, so let's actually write the code. So to get the canvas, it's document.get element, element by ID uh, canvas. Okay, and then the context property, and that's like var canvas equals, and then our it's going to be var ctx, that's what we're going to call it, equals canvas dot get context and then that's in 2D because 3D doesn't exist yet. Okay, so get context. Then we're going to get our image data. So far, we'll get our image. So var image equals um, document dot get element by ID uh, image source is what we called it. And then we're going to get our image data. So var image data. Actually, no, it says draw the image to the canvas. Sorry, stay in order here. Uh, ctx draw image is the function and that the parameters it takes is the image itself the image element so this is a dom element and then where to start drawing and we're going to start drawing from the top left which is zero zero so zero zero okay then we're going to get the image data and to do that we're going to say var image data equals ctx get image get image data and where do you want to get the image data from we're going to start from the top left so that's zero zero and then we're going to expand the entire width and height of the canvas, which is our canvas size is 400 by 400, which is also the size of our image. Go figure. Get the pixel data. So var uh, px for pixel, we're going to call it, and that's going to be equal to image data dot data. So there's a data property of the image data itself. Okay, I actually forgot to write a step here, and that's um, get the entire length of the pixel data. Okay, so there's you can imagine that there would be 400 times 400 pixels, which is 16,000 pixels, right? If I can do simple algebra, uh, 160,000, sorry. It's 160,000 pixels that it's getting, so it's going to loop 160,000 times. So maybe processor intensives, intensive, we'll see. Okay, so get the entire length. So to do that, we're going to say var length equals px dot length. Okay, 
Now we're going to loop and manipulate the pixel. So we're going to say for var i equals 0, i is less than length. Now, normally in a loop we do i plus plus, but the difference here, the difference is and why we're not doing i plus plus is because the way it stores it, it, it goes um, r g b a r g b a. That's how the data comes in. So we actually want to want to skip right to the next group. So instead of plus plus, which goes up one, we're going to plus equals four. We're going to loop through each group. Now because we're doing that, we can still get, so this is i, this is i plus 1, this is i plus 2, and this is i plus 3. But the next group will start here. Okay, so it's a little loop trick that you can do. So let's let's just define this out. So var red pixel, and you know red px, equals um, pxi. Okay, we're going to make that simple. And then var green px, okay, equals pxi plus 1. You see how this is going? And var blue pixel equals pxi plus 2. Then there's also an alpha pixel. These are all subpixels actually. Equals pxi plus 3. You see how we went up to 3? On the next loop it's going to go to the next full pixel. We're just grabbing the individual pixels here. Okay? So that would be get the RGB right here. And then it says create the grayscale pixel. So var grayscale equals. That's applying our formula which is which is very simple. It's um, red pixel, uh, sorry, red red pixel uh, times 0.3 plus green pixel times I think it's 0.59, and then that's plus uh, blue pixel times 0.11. Okay, so that using our RGB to grayscale formula, we've created our grayscale um, subpixel. So now we're just going to restore each of those. We can't do red pixel equals. It doesn't, because red pixel does not store a reference to PXI. It stores the value of PXI. We want to change. We want to actually change what PXI is. So we're going to literally change PXI to that grayscale. Okay? And we're going to do PXI plus 1 to that grayscale as well. And then PXI plus 2 to that grayscale as well. So we're storing each subpixel as the grayscale. Okay? So that should make it grayscale. And then the last step after the loop is we need to put that data back. So CTX of our canvas manipulation dot put image image data. Okay? Now we're going to use image data because image data is exactly what we manipulated. Where do you want to put it? We're going to put it at 0, 0. Okay? You can also specify 400 by 400, but there's a trick. You don't need to do that. So we save that and refresh. Uh, I have an error. Give me one second. Okay, I see here in my error console that document element by ID is undefined, and that's because I spelled element wrong. See, I'm missing an E. So I'm just going to copy that since I know that one's right and paste it. So that was my error. If I refresh, now we've taken our image and we've made it black and white. Now notice I'm using Safari. Let's load this up in, say, Firefox, and you're going to be surprised as that uh, right here. Okay, it didn't work. And we also get a security error. This kind of stuff, image manipulation, needs to be on the same domain. Believe it or not, this and this are not on the same domain. I know it's stupid and it's probably a bug, and actually I'm sure it's a bug. Actually, I know it's a bug. So we're going to actually, I have a web server running on here, so we're going to take both of these files and throw them onto my web server, um, which is using MAMP right now. So if we change this to localhost slash that was bw.html now it works with no security error because now that I'm on a web server that image and the uh, file the the index file and the image are on the same domain for some reason my computer not the same domain so there you go we have using a pixel formula converted an image to black and white